Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Uh, your name is? My name is Masiola Maimzada. And you're actually running for city council? Yes, I am. Uh, Ward 36, Scarborough Southwest. And why are you running for council? The reason why I'm running is to just speak out for the residents of Scarborough that are left behind. They're not being looked at the way other areas of the city of Toronto are looked at. Uh, you're also fasting. Yes, I am fasting right now. So when you began this campaign, I'm sure Ramadan was on the horizon. And uh, were you a little apprehensive or were you worried about fasting and campaigning? At first I was kind of worried. I was like, oh, if fasting comes, what am I going to do with my campaign? I want to still moving the way I'm moving it right now at the beginning, January 2nd. But as it got closer to Ramadan, I got a little more scared. But when Ramadan did enter, I was a little shocked at how I went through. It's all the, all already on the 25th day of Ramadan right now. And it's been going really good. I just get thirsty a little, but it's going really good. So at the beginning of Ramadan, uh, is maybe a little bit different than where we are today, which is near the end of Ramadan. What have you learned about campaigning through Ramadan? What, what's maybe something surprised you? What surprised me was that at the beginning I was shocked that I couldn't even do a hundred houses because I used to get really tired and thirsty. But as I went and went along the days of Ramadan, as I got to closer to the end, I was like, you know what, it's gonna, what motivated me was, oh, it's almost finishing, it's almost finishing. Four days ago, five days ago, six days ago, that motivated me to go on during Ramadan. So when you say houses, you mean door knocking? Door knocking, yes. And when you actually get an answer at the door, uh, how's that experience while you're fasting? Some answers are negative, some answers are really positive, but it doesn't affect me. I'm a friendly guy. Um, is it still hard? We're just a few days left. Is it still hard campaigning while fasting? It's still hard campaigning while fasting. You get thirsty a lot while you're walking, plus the heat that is out is really hot. Yeah, but I'm still working along to get over it really soon. You have to break your fast at sunset every day. Uh, as a candidate, uh, there are events that are at the evening and may conflict or, or what have you. Uh, what have you found at sunset time through the month? Most of the time if I have any event that is right at sunset at iftari time, I carry some food around with me or I get one of my campaign coordinators to get me something from a fast food restaurant. Okay. Uh, has it come up in the campaign at all that it's Ramadan, you're fasting, the people are curious, do they ask you about it? A few residents have asked me actually, uh, are you fasting while campaigning? Uh, and I did answer them, yes I am. And how did they uh, respond to your answer? They were really shocked, they're like, you fasting while campaigning and going door knocking? They were really shocked and surprised and I actually got their support. Support. Have you met other candidates who are also fasting? Or heard of any? Uh... No, I have not. Now that uh, it's the end of Ramadan and you would do this again, if you or when you run again, uh, what might you do different? What I'll do different is uh, I will cut my days shorter. I won't be going as long as I am now, starting from 9 a.m. to all the 9 p.m. I cut my days shorter. I might start from midday noon and go up to nine. And it's still summer, so it's not really the campaign season just yes, yet. So uh, it, get, it really gets going uh, September, uh, and of course, certainly into October. So uh, are people surprised that you're campaigning this early? People are all surprised because a lot of those I knocked to, they're like, you're the first candidate that's actually knocked on my door. And the reason why they're surprised is because they haven't seen their current councillor, Councillor Crawford, in their door, even knocking during Wallace's last campaign. So they were shocked, they're like, if you're a responsible guy taking this responsibility to come out and knock on our doors while fasting, that means you will take the responsibility to take care of us at City Hall. Okay, so something happened uh, today before we got here, and we were at an event that you invited me to. Uh, can you just briefly describe what that is, what that was? That was just, uh, a lot of residents came up to me and said, like, you're running for City Councilor. We have contacted our Councilor Crawford 
and R311, they haven't done anything about the roads that are Cougar Court, the garbage that are around Cougar Court. So I told them I'll take the initiative to actually go and contact the mayor himself and contact the candidate, mayor candidates that are running at the moment and get them out here and make them look. And what I want them, I want Scarborough on their agenda as top priority when it comes to funding, when it comes to structure, when it comes to transit. Okay, so uh, we'll actually now go to uh, video in the next segment that was taken earlier, and then we'll return back here uh, for some closing thoughts. Thank you.